Hi everybody, it's Tandy Gutierrez and this is your Tip Tuesday, mini tip vid of the day. Um, today has been all about pink salt. It is one of my most favorite things to educate people on because people go, salt, wow. Um, and there's so many uses and so many cool things about it. So, why is pink salt different than table salt? We're gonna go in a list here. Table salt is technically a processed food. It's been totally stripped of all of its elements and minerals, um, leading, leaving just the sodium chloride. And then they add back in the chemical compounds for anti-caking agents, so it doesn't get all goopy inside its containers. Um, and they also add iodine to it. So salt actually doesn't contain iodine, which kind of freaks people out because what? Yes, we need iodine, but the sources of it should come from natural real sources. So my platform is all about real. If you're gonna do something, do the real cleanest version of it you can, because there aren't really foods that are like dangerous for you, amounts and where they come from and how they're processed. And that's where things get dangerous because then you're no longer eating food. So table salt is just chemical crap. Then you have sea salt, cause you go, well, I'm supposed to use sea salt. It's from the sea, yes but you're probably still getting sea salt that's been processed because it's all white and pretty and, and that's what you wanna buy. And most sea salts nowadays are processed as well to look clean, to be in pretty little pieces. Um, and so they've been stripped and messed with as well and kind of cleaned up. So although sea salt is a better version, it's still not the full version of salt that you really want. You can get Celtic sea salt. It looks dirty like sand. Um, that's the sea salt you really want to get. Then you've got pink Himalayan salt, which anything pink is awesome, right? Because it's one of my favorite colors. Um, so we'll see if you guys can see this. A lot of you are familiar with it, but some of you aren't. And so this is what it looks like. It's pink and it's this beautiful color and it comes in these chunky rocks. Um, it comes from the Himalayan mountains. So it is sea salt but it comes out of the sea. So it's, you know, in the air and that misty sea air stashes in these mountains. Um, and then this is mined from the actual mountains. So anything that has more color in it when it comes to food typically has more nutrients in it and more elements that you want. Salt is no different. So the pink means that it's been stashed in these mountains for a long time and gathered all these amazing minerals from the earth. So there's over 82 natural occurring minerals inside pink salt. Hooray! The biggest one, the most important one, is magnesium. So it's a great source of magnesium and 80% of the population is magnesium deficient. Why does magnesium matter? Number one for us, for our workouts, muscle recovery. Um, it's also muscle relaxant. So when things get really tight and really knotted up and all that grumpiness, um, they need assistance and help and elements to relax. And so pink salt really does it. Um, over time, if you're using it consistently, again, it's just a balancer for your system because it's got so many elements um, and minerals that are great for your body. Magnesium helps in muscle recovery. It helps with muscle relaxing. It can regulate your sleep cycles. So all of you out there that have you know sleep issues um, or a hard time falling asleep and are headed towards melatonin, pink salt could be a real solution for you. Um, it also helps regulate a healthy pH balance in your body. That's a whole nother Tip Tuesday topic, but pH balance, you want to be neutral, okay? So that's balance in the body. If you're too acidic, then you're going to brew things like cancers and sickness um, and um, like heartburn. And if you can't really be too balanced because it doesn't really go that way, it's more of a spectrum. So it's really like how balanced are you and how alkaline are you or how acidic are you? So pink salt helps balance out your internal system. We might just do another Tip Tuesday chat simply about that, um, but it's good for you. <laughs> it balances you from the inside out. It also helps regulate your blood sugar. Eee, no more crashing. Um, so therefore it can assist your adrenals and your energy levels. Um, so again, clearly I think it's wonderful. Um, that's again why a lot of my recipes are very heavy handed with pink salt because if you want to be using it consistently, salt in general will help you with the good minerals, electrolytes, and keep you hydrated. So from the fitness perspective, we're talking hydration and muscle recovery um, and less soreness from things and better sleep 
better rest and recovery. All good things. Um, you can use it, you know, if you guys are a fan of PYM, know that I'm a huge advocate of Epsom salt baths and soaking baths. You can use pink salt in the same way. Um, it has all of the same properties of that. So relaxing, muscle recovery, detox to pull toxins out of the system. You can do it consistently and weekly. Um, and hydration, literally hydration for your system. If you sit in a detox bath, for 40 minutes, then you're helping hydrate your system. The first 20 detoxes and pulls stuff out, then the second 20 minutes, your skin actually takes it and absorbs it back in for hydration. So hydration helps with fine lines on your skin and helps with your energy levels and your overall health and wellness. So you can eat it, you can sit in a bath, and my favorite, pink salt lamp. So I got a pink salt lamp for Christmas. <laughs> they come in all different forms and variations. You can find them on Amazon. They're really not expensive. Um, as many household things that I love, this one is my favorite. I really love it and I really feel a difference with it. So environmentally, it's heated up in the room as a lamp. It creates positive ions. So the simple answer of this is that negative ions come from media, screens, computers, phones, uh, microwaves, that kind of stuff. And positive ions work to balance them. So we're all media tech connected, perhaps you're watching this before bedtime, and that makes it all that stuff riles you up, right? So it makes it difficult to wind down to go to sleep and most of us don't have those bedtime rituals that we should have so that we're getting the best most restful sleep that we can and sleep is like oh my god if nothing else sleep even above working out sometimes um but the pink salt what does it do to the environment that it's in it creates these positive ions so it helps balance your neurological system so that you're not always like hyped up and awake um, that you've got time to calm down um, so it helps in relaxation it purifies the air so it's an air purifier so if you've got allergies it's super useful and really helpful and just creates this feeling of calm i swear it feels like magic like you turn on you're like oh. Um, even my husband was like, oh, yeah, that actually feels different. Um, so there are saunas made out of this stuff that are just incredible. There's one in Seattle that an ambassador of mine introduced me to, and I'm in love with it. And was like, what is this magic space with pink salt? Um, and so this is my little bit of magic at home. I keep it on my bedside table. I'm working on my bedtime rituals as well to have that 30-minute time minus a screen before I go to sleep. Amber light helps regulate your nervous system and helps bring you down so that you can get sleepy and really restful. So I read by my salt lamp now and then just turn it down. It's on a dimmer and I sleep with it on now too. Um, that amber light is great for regulating your circadian rhythms and your sleep cycle. So if you have insomnia or all of us just don't sleep as much as we should and it's typically that transition from a screen because we're watching TV before we go to bed. Um, so you get deeper sleep, but those of us with autoimmune issues who require more sleep or need that deeper, more restful sleep, I have found this hugely helpful. That I went from sleeping, but now I'm back into you know REM sleep cycles where I'm dreaming very heavily and deeply again, so I know that my sleep is better. Um, pink salt. I love it. It really is my favorite thing to educate people on eat salt. It's just like fats and anything else as far as food is concerned. Eat real. If you get real, mostly unprocessed stuff, you're getting what your body really needs and was intended to get. So yes, people are like, oh, there's no iodine in it. Well, salt doesn't contain iodine. It's not supposed to. Um, so by adding it into our table salt that was weird in the first place, get iodine from other sources. Seaweed. We can talk about that later. Um, but you can get them in shakers, you know, you can order them from Amazon. Whole Foods definitely carries them, PCC carries them, and I guarantee your local grocer most likely has pink salt at this point. So these are just table, you know, little granules of it. I do put mine in a crack grinder, um, and you can cook with these larger rocks, which is super cool. So pink salt, today's Tip Tuesday, mini tip of the day. If you have questions about this, just post them um, and I'm happy to answer them and I will see you all next week.